I really like to watch birds fly and film that. I've been working on my technique. The camera has two settings that I use. One is sports, which is designed to capture rapid motion, like a kid running on a soccer field. The other is low light, which is designed to capture things in low light that aren't moving very fast. Low light refreshes at about 15 frames per second instead of the 30 frames per second that you find in sports settings. Slow motion also distorts in some ways similarly to low light. It extends the body. Another notable way to tell that something's in either slow motion or in low light setting is that what you'll see is multiple copies of the wing along an extended body. What it really looks like is you've got points at the end of the wing and then you have this sine wave it looks as if it's all one wing, you know, and, and flexible, but it's a narrow wing just going up and down really fast. Back to low light and a normal speed, look at the length of the body. If you look carefully before we go back to Swift's, flying from the right towards the left, just above the center of the screen, there is a large bird in the background. And think how many Swift's there must be for so many to be continually flying through such a small patch of sky. A patch of sky is probably only three feet by five feet. Look at the length of the bodies in this section of low light, slow motion. And check out how long those wings are in slow-mo. From here we'll take you back to normal speed, first in low light, and we'll finish it off in the sports section so you can see them fly.